Hi, this is Justin Sims from the Louisiana Assistive Technology Initiative with our latest video in the UDL series, Action and Expression, with our focus question, what is acceptable evidence of student learning? As adults and professionals, we have a lot of choice in how we can achieve our goals. Using executive functioning skills, some of us may prefer a digital calendar to easily manage our schedules and appointments on the fly, while others insist upon keeping a paper or pocket calendar because it helps them remember the important dates better. Given communication skills, we may choose to email a colleague and maintain a digital correspondence, whereas others would like a phone call to discuss our ideas out loud. And when considering physical action, we can organize our desks with double monitors, scanners, printers, paper clips, sticky notes, and whatever tools we need. In short, we have the agency in action and expression to make decisions that will best attain our goals based on our preferences and needs. So we encourage the same action and expression for our students and encourage them to explore the modalities that best achieve their academic goals. For example, considering executive functioning skills. When working on a project, a learner may prefer using a timer to manage their workload, whereas another prefers to make a detailed outline to make sure no steps are skipped. Considering communication, one learner may prefer to give an oral presentation with multimedia supports because he dreads staring at that blank canvas of a word processor, while another performs better at constructing clear and concise written arguments, but they innately feel nervous standing in front of their peers and giving physical action. One learner may work best solving math problems with a blank sheet of paper since it's very time efficient for them, while another would prefer demonstrating their work with manipulatives and use the class iPad to take a picture of it as evidence. In whole, students need the training and the opportunity to choose the right modalities for them to achieve their goals. Thank you so much again for watching this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe, that really helps us out. Thanks again.